Well, this morning we are at Cherry Grove Beach. We're about to go to the pier. We're about to catch hopefully some bluefish, some Spanish mackerel, and whatever the el whatever else we'll bite. And this afternoon, this afternoon we decided to bring the boat down here. Then we're gonna go put in and see what we can't catch on the boat. It's gonna be a heck of a day. We're gonna catch a lot of fish. Let's go see what we can do. Starting morning off great, guys. We was gonna leave. We got the tackle box up at the house. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we we got down here last night about 9.30. Got down here, got settled in, got the rods rigged up. And it's low tide right now, so we're gonna try to fish the pier. We're gonna, like I said, hopefully we can catch Spanish mackerel, bluefish, and whatever else. But my big excitement is finally getting the boat down here. We've got right back on the other side of these houses. You've got Hog Inlet, and that's what we're gonna try. Get redfish, black drum, and probably some flounder. But huh? We we just down here having fun and catching fish is gonna be the bonus. You know what? That fishing trip on the pier, it just got it, it was just sucky. So we come here and there's this here now you gotta pay to park. Gotta pay to park. Never had to pay to park. Um let me look at this. Give me a minute. Yeah, right here. Yeah, got to pay to park. Well, you can't start paying until 9 o'clock. So we park at 8.30. Thought I might get a ticket. Didn't get a ticket for that. Keep that in mind. Um, paid it. Great. Good. Graham. Come back. Where's it at? Where's it at? Right here. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Got a ticket anyways. Ain't that some crap? $25 ticket because my tires were touching the road. You know what? This ticket. That's some crap. So now we're going to go get in the boat. We're going to go fish the inlet. And I'm going to go pay that ticket. So it don't jump to $75. So it's a little after lunchtime. We have made it onto the hog inlet. The wind blowing. Sorry. It's just a little windy. We got an incoming tide. We're going to fish all evening. We're going to fish the outgoing tide. The water is crystal, crystal clear. And uh, we're going to try to make something happen. Uh, we are pumped up about this trip. Let's see what we can do now. Get him. It might be a stingray. It's a, it's a flounder. It's a big flounder, son. We got the net. Get the net. Oh, oh my God. Hang on. I don't care. This is the biggest flounder of my life, right here. Holy crap, Ryan. I'm, I'm just letting go. I know how their teeth are. Dude, that is a storm map. God. That is a dormant. All right, I'm, this is going to be your opportunity. <laughs> Get that, hold that fish up, Ryan. Holy God. We ain't been out here but a minute. Dude. That is a beast. Oh, I'm, I'm right there with you. Right, that's a beauty right there, boy. Yeah, sure that would just fall and sink it to me. Oh, so we'll get it. I'm gonna get it. We just getting started. What I'm talking about? It might be a keeper. What's that? God, he inhaled that one. Okay. Woo! Fish, fish. I heard. Uh oh. He might. He might be 15. Oh, we'll see. Right there, guys. Ah, no, he's pooping everywhere.
Oh, I think I gotta get out of these rocks. Whoo, right there, guys. Nice little flounder. We're gonna check and see if he's 15. Come back here and weigh him up. Uh, no, he's too small. Flounder. Oh Good flounder. Dang it, sir. <laughs> Good flounder. Big flounder. Congratulations. I like that one. <laughs> Boy, that's a, hold that up. That's a dandy right there. He bigger, you think? I think he's bigger than that. Mm-hmm. All right. Let go, poker head. Come, Lisa. Oh, there we go. Awesome job. He might be legal. He's gonna be close. Hey. Hey. You old jerk. That's about that same size as I just caught. He's got a dark belly on him. I just had to bite mine just sitting there in the water. I don't think, I don't he think. he's probably about 13. Oh, well. Ryan, I'll punch you in the damn mouth this time. <laughs> you about to go swimming. <laughs> about to go swimming. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Well, you, you <laughs> this might be the hot spot, dude. Who's under the flyers at? I have no clue. They're under that rope up there. Well then. Get it. Could have had three. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. There's your goal. Yeah. Dude. Heck yeah, man. We'll put them in the cold. Cooler. Just light a fish on the. Because you broke the pier cart. <laughs> God. Alright, oh, it is. Oh, it's a keeper too, I think. No. Huh? I don't think so. No, he He's about like all them other ones we caught. There, it just hit the water. Right there at that current. Something back here. Oh, I don't know if you can see me or not. We're going down the steps now here at the condo. We just got done, got back, cleaned up, showered, feeling feeling good. And we're about to go down. We kept two flounder right up in the cooler, let one flounder jump out, but you know, other than that. Um and we about to we about to cook us up some fish. Uh, we got, like I said, we got two flounder. We're going, Ryan's going to show you how we're going to cook them. It's, a, I guess you could say it's going to be a little surf and turf. We've got flounder. We've got deer steak. We have shrimp. And we're going to have a good time and we're going to eat good. So, kick back and we're going to cook us up some food now. And it's dark, but we're going to put some light on it. Now Ryan's going to show us how to fillet these babies. I'm gonna try to show you. Which it's been a while, so we just we just cut them up. Like I said, we we just gonna grill. So with a flounder, you got actually four fillets on a big one. You cut down here, cut down, make a Y. You got a fillet here, fillet here, flip them over, and a big one. You got two more fillets. We're gonna do the same thing. Cut around the head. We gonna make a Y. Boy, we gonna eat good. Oh, are you going? Are you going to leave the skin on when we cook them? Might as well. Nice. I don't know. Flounder on the half shell. Yeah. I wish we would even have reds on the half shell too. This works too. I don't care. 
careful, that's sensitive to some people. You don't keep it red. I'll keep it red. I'll keep it red all day. Oh, it's sliding. Maybe you can get myself, me cut myself on. <laughs> you did get me. I wish you got that on camera. Or did you? No. So where he cut it right down right there. Just followed him right there. Did the rib cage right down there. That's all you got to do. Do it four times and you're done. You need a piece of cardboard so I don't slide everywhere. Yeah, that or like a... Sometimes if you lay a tail down, it works good like that. The concrete would work great. Well, it's you. I mean, that's all bone right there, boy. There's one fillet. Do the same thing on the other side. jealous right now. I can't keep finding her. Yeah, we are in South Carolina, just so you know, and we are allowed to keep flounder down here right now. Who's it? I've ate a lot of fish eggs in my life. I wonder how flounders taste. Ah, you go for it, buddy. Crappy eggs are good. That's what I've heard. There's second fillet. So now, I'm going to repeat that process one, two, three, four, five, six more times, and then we're going to cook them up. We got the win. Oh yeah, we got the win. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Jeff's eye. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh-huh. Oh, we got all these fillets of flounder. We've got a deer tenderloin over there. And we've got shrimp. Boy, y'all, we about to hit we but we're gonna eat good. I mean granted it might be nine o'clock, but we're gonna eat good. I don't have a fork. You're throwing that deer steak on there. Mm-hmm. So we've got the deer steak. We've got two ten full wraps of our vegetables. We got a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion in there. Next will be shrimp and fish. fish. Yep. And that's gonna be good eating that right there. Mm-hmm. Well, look at look at them grill marks. You took my light away. Whoa! Pour a little it. bit of that marinade on that top, boy. Yes, sir. So we got a little bit of garlic, Texas Pete, Worcestershire, and pepper. Pepper. And that deer tenderloin is gonna be good. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Look at them grill marks. I'm proud of them grill marks you done. Butter on the fish. Keep the moisture in that, in that filet. That old filet mignon. Boy, that'd be nice to have some filet mignon right here. Huh? I'll tell you what, this will be this will be all right. Yeah. Man, deer steak. It's getting fish, there. shrimp. I mean, this is like the ultimate surfing turf. Ultimate surfing turf. And we got peppers, onion, green peppers, red peppers, and onion in there with balsamic vinegar and. A whole bunch of other crap. Now, guys, when you cook your deer tenderloin, don't cook it well done. Medium rare, that's where it's at. If you cook it well done, it's gonna be tough. It's, it's gonna be strong tasting. Yeah. That's where people say deer meat scammy. Yeah. Medium rare, can't tell the difference. There's no fat in a deer steak, and if you cook it anything over medium rare, you're going to have a bad experience. Pretty much. So we got the shrimp on, 
we've got the the flounder buttered up we're about to flip them everything's about done and when we get done we will show you the finished product when we get upstairs and then we're going to enjoy this meal at 10 o'clock so we've got the shrimp right there we got our flounder there deer steak and we have our vegetables we are done cooking it is like 10.06 we're gonna sit down we're gonna enjoy this meal we're gonna go to bed get back up we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow and guys we had an awesome day thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video until next time we'll see